Hi, so in this video we are going to look at how to create these um, lovely light shaft that we would get uh, from the the sun illuminating a rather thick atmosphere. The uh, light shaft within the directional sunlight that we would um, use by default or by our instinct because it says light shaft are not uh, the ones that would uh, give us the desired effect. We, these light shaft need to be uh, um, are only active when we look straight at the source of the sunlight. So we will look at it, look this way, uh, given the arrow, and we'll look at the sun, and then the light shaft will appear. So that's not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is the traces of the light in the dust due to the uh, window panes. So let's set this up. First thing I've done, I've opened this scene and already I have changed the mobility of the directional sunlight to, I've changed it to movable and uh, that enables me to change the uh, light to make it movable even though we have previously calculated the light mass with the sunlight set to static so the sunlight is baked in so this would work if uh, for a very small movement like this as you see if I turn it completely away there's some very strange artifacts here which are due to the direct light having moved away but for a small animation like this, it could work quite well. So let's bring in the atmos the exponential height fog this time. So I've just typed in here already um, fog in the search bar. So let's just bring this in. And we are, um, already have it all um, set up. All we need to do is click this volumetric fog button. And immediately you see a lovely atmosphere if I just turn it on and on you see this lovely thick atmosphere coming in so what we need to do now is enable the uh, shafts to happen in uh, real time so I turned off Skype there that was annoying me uh, so I just select my sunlight and all we need to do is increase here the volumetric star scattering intensity so even if we pushed all the way to the maximum it's not really going to help us although we're just beginning to see a shaft here so let's just bring it to a very very high value 50 so that we can see what we're doing and there's a sort of anti-alias happening when um, the depending on the angle and when the um, sun sort of settles so here there's a kind of a lovely real-time kind of uh, thing happening which is nice so here you can see that it's it's really doing its job perfectly well it kind of reminds me of little Blade Runner and so this is something to um, to bear in mind to exploit so at this stage we can maybe bring it down a little bit to 20 uh, and we can also play with some of the sharpness of the uh, sunlight like we have done before so if we go to the uh, detail panel of the sunlight and maybe move this to three we can make it a little bit um, sharper or keep these on to um, three or four and then we'll sort of decrease the uh, sharpness here or increase the softness as we want it. I think it works better with a very soft light here and uh, we're, it would emphasize the, the rays of light on the um, volumetric fog. It's very fascinating. Great, so I hope this is useful and you can have fun with it.